What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new review. Today I'm talking about my most anticipated film of the year and that is Deadpool 2. I am so excited to talk about this. For people who don't know and you're new to my channel, this is no spoiler review for Deadpool 2. This is a film you want to go into not knowing really anything about and just yeah, just like Avengers Infinity War, instead of Thanos demanding your silence, Deadpool demands your silence. And so let's talk about this. You know, I had a lot of hype going to this film. The first film is in actually my top 10 of all time. I think it's one of the most entertaining, energetic films I've ever seen. Very fresh, new take on the superhero genre. Very charming, very just different. Something we have never gotten before. So two, this sequel had a lot of stuff to live up to. And overall, it hits those marks for me. It hit my hype level for me. Didn't exceed them. I'll say that. It didn't exceed them, but it did hit where I thought this film was going to be. I would say, placing this with the first one, I would say I probably still enjoy the first one, but just a tad bit underneath. Just a tad bit. It's still just as good as the first one. I think this film does better things than the first one, but... I will say there's actually one thing that I think the first one did very much better than this, and I'll go into that. This is pretty much my only con for the film, and that is I actually enjoyed the story for the first one more. It's weird to say because the first one, you know, we didn't expect to have a good story, but it was this love story, and I maybe it's just come a sense of to do, but I like the love story aspect of the first Deadpool. I thought it was very unique and different, and I, I enjoyed that. This one, I was very appreciative because I was very worried that they were going to bonk you over the head with this X-Force thing. It was going to be an Iron Man 2 thing, but no, X-Force is just a nice little touch to this Deadpool sequel. This is still a Deadpool film, you actually get more emotional beats and you actually get to feel more for Wade Wilson. It furthers her, his character arc even more. With this film not just focusing on a loving relationship but also a family relationship with the X-Force and the friends he meets and his friends just in general that we met in the first one. That's something that we didn't get enough of in the first one so I thought it was a nice character arc to move him into this position. Again, different. You don't expect that. And I like that. You know, it, it still carries that same charm and that fresh take that the first film had. And like I said, this review is kind of going to be a little bit vague because I don't want to give away all the best parts, but I will say, seriously, this film has some of the best laugh out loud moments. Some of the jokes are a little rehashed from the first one, but they are bigger and bolder and honestly made me laugh even harder. I think some people might have an issue with that, but I think it does something better than the hangover did when the hangover kind of tried to redo these jokes in the second movie and it didn't really work that well. So I'm glad they actually worked better for this time around. But I still will say though, the characters that they add in this film and added onto the cast is great. But first, before we get to that, seriously, the side characters are great. Weasel's a great addition. Dope Pinder has some of the best moments in here. Colossus is especially is a big standout from this from the first to the second film he has a great moment in here i love seeing colossus in here next on a teenage warhead same type of character great jokes to make with her as well and of course our hero deadpool wade wilson and of course vanessa vanessa still carries that same charm she's the love of my life i love vanessa but wade wilson ryan reynolds portrays deadpool so perfectly he is the best he's the only actor that can play deadpool besides me but Seriously, Wade Wilson, Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds was born to play Deadpool. I love the emotional beats that he took with this character, the lines that he gives him, and he just embodies every aspect of him. And that goes to our new characters in here. And really the two big newest leads in here is Zazie Beats as Domino, who, let me say, is for me, my favorite new star of this film. I think she was the breakout. She somehow has some of the best moments in here. She is charming, she's charismatic, and she is such an interesting character. Her powers of just being very lucky are so different, and I love that. But of course, a lot of people were wondering, how is Josh Brolin as Cable? You know, we've been hinted at Cable by the end of the last film. So many actors going through it. So many different people that we want to play as Cable. And Josh Brolin got picked for it. You know, he is Thanos, but how is he as this other comic book character? Well, honestly, he's great. He's great as Cable. Cable has some of the best action sequences in here. He's badass. He has some great lines in here. And just, I, it makes me want to see more of Cable. That goes for Domino as well. I want more of her. I would even go as far as say, give them both their own solo film, especially Domino. I really mean that. I'm very impressed with Domino. I did not think I was going to like her as much as I did, and I loved her character. That goes to say, all the characters really shaped this film to be what it is. David Leach, the guy who directed Atomic Blonde and John Wick, does take the helms for this one, not Tim Miller. And I think David Leach, a little bit going into this, I was a little bit kind of salty with that, but I knew we were going to get way better action sequences, and we do. They're bloodier, they're gorier, and probably this is probably the most bloodiest movie and most violent film I've seen since, like, Kill Bill or Pulp Fiction, like, on the blood rating, because it, it's it's pretty, it's pretty bad, and in a good sense of way. I love when the action gets that way. It's hyped up, it gets you excited, and I love seeing the arms flying off, the moves that they do, and you can just get a small glimpse of this in the trailers, but there is nothing that they do not show in the trailers. The trailers, you know, they changed up a lot of stuff. You can tell they CGI'd out some stuff, and the CGI, again, in this film is way better than the first one. It's, it's hard to go back to the first one now after seeing the second one because the CGI is very noticeably different. And I'll even go as far to say, other than the CGI being different, again, the cinematography is 
really beautiful for this film. It's a very good looking film. Deadpool 2. It goes bigger and bolder than the first one. It doesn't catch that sequelitis thing that just ruins sequels. It does bring some familiar jokes, but they do work for a bigger and bolder, funnier laugh, because I was laughing my ass off from beginning to end. Great new characters. Love seeing the returning cast, and a great arc for Wade Wilson himself. That was the thing that really surprised me. I love seeing that they actually went more into Wade Wilson and didn't just focus on X-Force itself, which, let me say, X-Force, Peter, you are my hero. I loved Peter in this film. He was fucking great. I wanted more of him. Deadpool 2, it's everything I expected. It's everything I wanted. And I'm very happy to say that I am so happy this film lived up to at least hit my expectations because I was very worried going into this film that it was not going to be and I was going to be in a disappointed mess, but I'm not. Great new characters, a great future for Deadpool itself. And Ryan Reynolds, you are my hero. With all that said, I'm going to give Deadpool 2 an A. Be honest with you guys. I honestly was kind of, my rating was a little bit lower when the film ended, but then... The end credit scene prohibited. There's two of them. I will go as far to say this is the best end credit scene in any film ever made. I didn't mean that. I not only laughed, but it even bumped my rating up two points. I, I love the end credit scene. It really just made the film altogether amazing. Tell me, guys, what do you guys think about Deadpool 2? Have you seen it yet? Have you not seen it yet? Tell me down below what your guys' thoughts are. Are you guys excited for it? Do you love the first Deadpool? Let's talk about this all down below. And, of course, guys, if you want to check out more videos, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button because I will be doing a Deadpool 2 spoiler talk this weekend, and I'll also be ranking every single X-Men film. I've been re-watching them, and this is actually a really hard list to make because there are really good films in the X-Men franchise, and there are some really shit piles in there, but it's going to be fun to at least rank them all. Of course, if you guys want to hit up all my social media links, Stardust, Instagram, and Twitter, we talk more Deadpool and geeky stuff over there and the most important thing is go check out Sandwich John Films down below because right there you guys can win advanced movie screenings go check out some movie news and other movie reviews so trust me the website's awesome and you guys want to see it so without further ado guys thank you guys so much for watching you guys are all the best and seriously now you're here dude no 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 you can't just come into my review expecting to do and why'd you slam the door shut seriously you know I'm in the middle of filming no 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 we're not doing this today we're not doing this today, Wade. I told you to be here by this certain time so we can review the film together. I'm sorry, man. I just wanted to... I, I, I was watching Justice League. I, you told me it was bad, and I just wanted to see how bad it was. I told you it was shit. Why did you watch it? Don't you watch all my videos? Yeah, I do, and I'm on your channel sometimes. I, I wanted to be a part of this. I'm so, so sorry. It doesn't matter. It, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You, you're done. The review's done. We're done filming, okay? No, 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 no. I want to give my opinion about this film. It's too late. The review's done. I'm, I'm done filming it. I'm going to edit it and put it up. <sighs> I hate to do this for you, Zach, but... You know, you, you, you put me in this position. Oh, put down the gun, man. Put down the gun. I'm not putting down the gun. Beca because you deserve it. So... Fuck you! <laughs> oh... So the review's done, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, I love Deadpool too because it's my movie. Make sure to go support it. And of course, until next time, stay classy.